Hi, I'm Tim Gammon, and I am no longer employed anywhere, so I have a little more free time on my hands, and I think with that time might be a good idea to show you some really cool recipes. So today I decided to make a spot show, and it's a super easy recipe, and just involves pretty much whatever vegetables that you have on hand. As long as you have some tomato juice, a really good tomato, and I highly recommend the smaller tomatoes, like any like Roma or cherry tomatoes, they're gonna be really nice in this soup, but no matter what, I think you're really gonna like it. All right, step one, getting a couple cups of tomato juice and putting it in a mixing bowl. And you do have a few options there. You could even use Clamato juice if you wanna do like a Caesar gazpacho. And then get your tomatoes ready. Just chop them up, dice them, and again, make sure that you are using smaller tomatoes. Something a little sweeter, like a Roma tomato or a cherry tomato. Even a tomato that you grow in your garden. Homegrown tomatoes, perfect for gazpacho. Just get those chopped up as nice as you can. Doesn't have to be perfect, because some of these are going to be blended up a little bit later on anyway, so they can be a little bit messy. I think it adds to the appeal. Then just pour those in there, and basically you're just going to be chopping and dropping. Then you're gonna to wanna to take your bell pepper. You can use a lot less than this, but I decided just to add a little extra nutrition and extra vegetables in there. I decided to chop up this whole one, just cut up the sides and just take that big piece at the end, just toss that out. Then with those little parts that you cut off, you can dice those as fine as we want. Just chop it up to your preferences and then get ready to toss it into the bowl. Next, you wanna take a leafy vegetable. You could use spinach, arugula, anything that you want. I just have an excess of spinach right now, so I just decided to toss that in. Just a heads up, depending on what leafy vegetable you use, it could make the final product just a little darker. Then you're gonna to wanna to take a shallot, get that all chopped up. I decided to just use a shallot just because it has a milder flavor and it's smaller. So take your shallot or half an onion, toss it in the soup, then get everything else ready. So you're gonna to wanna to take a nice little splash of lime juice, you can splash that in there. And another thing that I like to do is just take a little drizzle of sugar, takes the edge off some of the more bitter flavors, makes it a lot more pleasant to eat. Then a little bit of white wine vinegar or even just regular white wine, you could splash that in there as well and take a little drizzle of olive oil, put that there along with a little bit of salt and pepper. Stir that up a lot. Get it all nice and mixed in there, get everything nice and getting to know each other. Then ladle half of the mixture and put it into a blender or a food processor. I'm just gonna take a couple ladles full, put it in my Ninja Blender, blend that up a little bit till it's nice and smooth, then add that back into the bowl, give it a little texture, and there you can see the spinach made everything a little bit darker, but it still looks very good. It is very tasty, and it's nice and refreshing too. I think it's gonna be a nice addition to your summer barbecue or anywhere else where you feel like having soup, but maybe feel like having it, well, not warm. 